This bridge represents our beliefs, our faith, what we believe about ourselves. Each one of these posts that hold up this bridge represent things we've been told since we were a baby. Things maybe our parents said, a teacher said, our friends have said, things we've seen on TV, maybe even things we've seen on the internet. When we're born as a baby, we really don't believe anything. We are an empty slate. But as we live our life, everything that we're told, everything we see, everything we experience props up our belief system. All these things affect what we think, say, and do when we get older. What we think and say about ourselves will affect the things that we do. Let's look at some things this young man has been told since he was a small child that now affect what he thinks, says, and does when he's older. Maybe other kids have told him, you're ugly, just joking around, but he believed it. Or maybe a relative said, you're not as good looking as your older brother. And he heard this over and over and he began to believe it. Maybe he's really struggled in school over the years. He's heard people say, you're not very smart. You're stupid. You're a dummy. You're not college material. And he began to believe it. Maybe every time he messed up or did something wrong, his daddy always told him, you can't do anything right. And he heard this over and over growing up. Or maybe his mama told him, you'll never amount to anything. You're going to be stuck here in this town your entire life. You're just like so-and-so. You're a loser. Or maybe he got in trouble a lot when he was little and people constantly told him, you're a bad kid. You're evil. You're a monster. And over time he started to believe this and it affected what he thought about himself, what he said about himself, and how he acted. Wow, this young man has a lot of stinking thinking. Things that don't line up with the Bible. Let's find out what happens when he starts to read the Bible and renew his mind with God's Word and starts replacing these posts that prop up his belief system with things out of the Bible, out of God's Word. Let's renew his mind right now. Let's look at this first post. You're ugly. Does that line up with the Bible? Of course not. Let's blow this thing up right now and replace it with a scripture. Maybe a scripture that says, you're made in the image of God. You know, God's image is pretty good, so if I'm made in the image of God, I can't be ugly. Let's look at the second post. You're not very smart. Does that come from the Bible? Does that even line up with the Bible? No. So let's blow this thing up. Let's replace it with a scripture that says, I have the mind of Christ. You know what? If we have the mind of Christ, like the Bible says, then, you know, Jesus is pretty smart, so I don't think we have much to worry about. The third post said, you can't do anything right. Does that come from the Bible? Of course not. Let's blow this thing up and replace it with a scripture. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Now let's look at this fourth post. It says, you will never amount to anything. Is that how God feels about us? Of course not. That's not in the Bible. Let's blow this thing up. You know, Jeremiah 29, 11 says this, I have plans to prosper you plans to give you hope in the future. It doesn't matter how bad you feel things are. It doesn't matter how bad you messed up your life. God has plans to prosper us, plans to give us hope in a future if we'll just surrender our life to Him. And let's look at this last post. You're a bad person. I can't believe people would tell kids this. I hear people all the time tell kids, you're a bad kid. You're mean. You're a monster. Why would you tell a kid something like that? Let's blow this thing up. And let's replace it with the scripture that says, If you're in Christ, you're a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you're born again, you're a new creature in Christ. It doesn't matter if you've done bad things. You're forgiven. All that's gone. You're a new creature in Christ. It's very important that we filter all of our thoughts through the Bible, through God's Word. We need to renew our minds to think God's thoughts about ourselves instead of what the world tries to put on us. Let's see what this young man is thinking right now. Here comes a thought. You're not very smart. Does that come from the Bible? Of course not, but you know what? He believed it. Let's give him another thought and see what he's thinking now. You can't do anything right. Does that line up with the Bible? Of course not. We're gonna put a filter over his mind right now and filter all of his thoughts through the Bible. Let's give him a thought now and see what happens. You're not very smart. Does that line up with the Bible? No, so it spits it out. Let's give him another thought. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Does that come from the Bible? Yes. So he takes it in. He meditates on it. Thinks about it. It becomes a good stronghold in his life. Let's give him another thought. You can't do anything right. Does that line up with the Bible? No. So it spits it out. Let's give him one last thought. 
You are more than a conqueror through Jesus. Does that line up with the Bible? It is from the Bible. So he takes it in. He meditates on it. He thinks about it. It becomes a good stronghold in his life. And he lives his life believing that he can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. He's more than a conqueror through Jesus.